Hello, and this is Dr. Corey King from AskDrKing.com. I'm board certified in integrative medicine, and my passion is helping patients heal faster and with less heartache. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the four most common reasons that I find patients struggling with low cortisol, adrenal gland fatigue, uh, slash adrenal gland failure, we can call it all the above, but we're gonna go over the main reasons why patients' adrenal glands are just not working up to par. So watch the video in its entirety because I will be giving adrenal patients, this is just for you, I'm gonna be giving you something for free that you are gonna love that's just gonna help your adrenal glands heal faster and there'll be a question of the day at the end as well and I love hearing everybody's comments down below in, or below the video. So let's go ahead and begin. Now, the most common reason that I find patients are struggling with adrenal gland fatigue is because of blood sugar dysregulation. What that means is blood sugar is all over the map. For most of these patients, these are the patients that may have a tiny little breakfast, maybe they skip breakfast, maybe they have a coffee or a tea instead, they go four to six, eight hours sometimes without eating, then they scarf some food down because they're starving and they do it all over again. When blood sugar drops, the adrenal glands are going to kick in cortisol, and cortisol's job is to help raise your glucose levels. So if you are making the adrenals work overtime every single day, pretty much all throughout the day, and you do that for years on end, the adrenal glands are not gonna like you anymore. The second most common reason that I find that patients are struggling with adrenal gland fatigue is because of infections. These infections, they can be bacterial, parasitic in nature, they can be yeast overgrowths, aka candida. Infections, especially low-grade chronic infections, are stressors on the adrenal glands. So we don't want to add any more stress onto the adrenals. The third reason that I see patients having a hard time with adrenal gland function is one of two things. They're either an athlete that is overtraining or they're a very busy parent. I see this a lot in my moms who are taking care of the children. Maybe they're trying to get some work done as well. They're doing errands. They're just running all around. They're waking up in the middle of the night to feed the babies when they're, especially they're newborns. I'm not counting out my dads here and picking on you guys, but I typically work with a lot of women that have more adrenal gland fatigue than our males. I also see in our athletes overtraining and heck we can call you moms we can call you athletes for as much as you do um, we can compare you to professional athletes in that sense but our professional athletes because I work with a number of them especially the endurance athletes they tend to overtrain their bodies aren't recovering and then we have to help their adrenal glands heal on top of everything else that we must work on so if you're an athlete you've got to make sure you're getting your recovery in for the body especially the adrenal glands the fourth common reason that I see patients having a hard time with adrenal gland fatigue is because of a lack of proper sleep patterns. So a lot of patients are waking up extremely early. 